Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be looking into how you can create a drag and drop component in React using a library known as React DND. So today in this video, we'll be focusing into how you can use this module and uh, some inbuilt functions of this module to create a Jira Kanban board. So uh, for guys who are not familiar with what is Jira Kanban board. It is a software which is uh, used for software development lifecycle and to track uh, your project ongoing projects. So uh, for an example, uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It is just an uh, image. So these are basically cards uh, kept in place in certain columns of your work progress so assume that you have started a task a and it is in to do right so this is a column uh, to do it can be there can be multiple columns within a kanban board so you'll get a better idea when i'll show you the exact implementation which we are going to look today so you can google uh, uh, jira kanban board and uh, take a deeper dive into it if you want to uh, learn more on it i'll surely uh, link some good articles uh, in the description so yeah you can check that out but our main focus for today will be this library so the library which you are seeing over here basically providing you the functionality of uh, creating drag and drop components so uh, there are se uh, several cases when you need to uh, use drag and drop components in your web app or any application that you create in react right so this basically helps you to uh, build that so you don't have to write anything from scratch it provides almost everything so let's navigate to its documentation so yeah by the way this is the npm package you will be requiring this so this is how you can install uh, the module npm i react dnd so i'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out uh, but uh, the code for this which i'll be providing you in a github repo will already have this so yeah this is our code so let's not just look into it right now let's uh, focus on to the documentation so let's navigate to the documentation yes uh, so this is the link to the documentation if you want to know what are the inbuilt functions which this library provides right so it will also provide a few uh, methods like use drag use drop which, which are being used in our application but uh, there are various other monitor states and uh, few inbuilt functions or and there is good documentation around it so yeah you can definitely look into it more i'll put the link in the description if you want to explore more around this but there are a few functions which uh, which are going to be used in our application so one of uh, uh, some of them i'll mention over here so this is a use drag use drop drag source monitor and uh, target monitor these are some of the functions which we'll be using which i'll show you in a minute but yeah this is the documentation it is pretty simple and good they have good tutorial as well uh, if you search around google and you will get pretty uh, good content around it so yeah this is the npm uh, package and uh, let's see what we have in the store right so uh, as you can see over here the code editor which i'm using is vs code and uh, this is the folder structure uh, this is the normal react uh, boilerplate structure which i usually use uh, so this is the public folder this is the source folder and package station so for you guys i will um, provide the uh, code in the description so you guys just have to uh, clone the repo or download the zip file and npm uh, install i so this is a command you will be performing to install the dependencies within your package.json install and uh, enter so yeah this is the command which you'll be using after cloning the repo so it will install all the dependencies 
which you are seeing over here so yeah this is the package.json and let's uh, navigate to the source folder so this is uh this is the main folder which uh, you are looking over here this is the main index.js uh, file and where we are importing the kanban component so all the operations which are being performed in this application are in this component kanban uh, so we are importing uh, the component in index.js file and this is the normal root element which is being used in our web app uh, now let's move to the main component itself which is our kanban.js so this is our main component and uh, as you can see we have imported react dnd there are few components which we are or the functions which we are using in our uh, app is uh, drag drop context drag target and drag source yeah so this are the few uh, functions which we are importing via the react dnd library so the first over here uh, you're looking over here is that number of tasks which we have mentioned in an area of object so we have id to that specific task uh, first task and the status of it right so this is normally a uh, task array which will basically uh, be assembling your card on the kanban board which i'll show you and uh, these are the labels so this is basically mimicking the columns of your kanban board so there are multiple columns uh, such as uh, to do backlog in progress review and done so whenever you drag a card from to do to in progress and the status of the particular task is changed so now which is being handled by this handler so over here we have a state of the task so the state of the entire component is the task array which we have already mentioned above and this is basically the CSS classes which are being implemented down below. So it's just a const and they are being used in the below component. Yeah, so this is our uh, Kanban class component and this is being imported in index.js. So this is our main uh, component over here. So there are several, there are two more components below that is Kanban item and Kanban column. So this is basically the state initial state so initial state of the component will be this array of objects with uh, the status so over here what actually happens is that whenever you drag a component from source a, source a to source b the status changes changes on the base of that index so um, over here if you look into this handler there is basically id and status being passed as a parameter or an argument right so based on the task id and the id which the update handler gets it looks or finds so this is one of the inbuilt functions of uh, js and uh, with the help of that it will determine which task or the card has been moved from uh, the column between the column basically and at the end it will uh, update that status so over here the only thing which is uh, getting set or being updated at the end of dragging a com uh, dragging a card from source a to source b is just the status right so if you console log this uh, you will definitely get some idea so this is that handler this is the handler basically it will update the card status right now moving on forward so the render handler is something which will render your components uh, like in the dom uh, all the cards and all stacked up in the column and etc so as i've told you earlier kanban column is one of the component which is down below over here and kanban item is another component which is basically the cards which we'll be looking into so on drop like i've told you earlier we are using on dropped so on dropped is basically a prop which 
updates the status of uh, that card whenever it is being maneuvered from a column uh, which you'll see hold on hold on I'll just show you so as you can see this this is the box target component uh, which will be used in the diamond column and uh, over here uh, we have a box source box target and box source is basically those column targeting the individual cards so over here there are a bunch of uh, inbuilt functions which are being used which you can definitely look in the documentation if you want more detail on it these are some inbuilt handlers which you will know better when you look in the documentation so yeah this is pretty straightforward uh, in my opinion and this is the code you can definitely uh, try out uh, something more in detail like uh, popping a model when you are clicking onto the uh, card so now the important part is let's uh, see the output right so npm start and let's see what we see in over here so this is the kanban board so initial uh, the task value is being uh, kept as it is so the thing which which i was talking about is this column backlog to do uh, in progress review and uh, done so this is basically handled entirely by the uh, npm module so let's see what happens to this so this is what i was talking about so this is the drag and drop component you can build around and if you want to experiment more on this you can definitely like on click the third task you can bring more a detail to that uh, task like a model one or something like that so let's see what we have in the console so let's clear this and see from the starting now let's uh, navigate to the sixth task and let's move it to done let's see what is the status of that task so as you can see it is done right now let's uh, take the ninth task and move it to to do the array got updated so that is being handled by the update function and some inbuilt uh, methods of the module which uh, tracks the source uh, of the drag and the target of the drag basically now let's check the ninth task ninth task is in new so let's see what is the label over here so as you can see new is to do right so they are basically map, mapped the columns are mapped to this area over here so don't get confused to why it is in to do and why it is showing over here new so this object and this array is mapped basically so yeah that is that was that now let's move some other in progress the array got updated and let's see it's in going right so the first talk is in progress so let's see what is the mapped value over here so going in progress is going right so this is what it is so so th this is basically the naming of the column and this is the actual status which will get update on the which will which will be get updated on the array over here so yeah this uh, this was it for this i think uh, i have covered everything if you have any concerns and queries regarding to this inbuilt function so before that i recommend uh, going to the documentation to get more detail onto it so yeah i'll recommend uh, going through that and if you have any questions and concerns regarding this you can definitely comment down below i'll i'll try to help you out with this and uh, the code and all the articles related to this doc, um, video will be there in the description so yeah 
uh, so this is the output and uh, if you have anything such if you have any suggestions or uh, improvements to this you can definitely um, comment down below or uh, create the alternative to it so that's what i look at and yeah this is uh, this is like a kanban board and this is how you can drag and drop components using this library so using this library we are achieving this there is nothing done anything from scratch so yes yeah uh, so this was it for this video guys if you have any queries concerns uh, feel free to comment down below and yeah thanks for watching